All right, I'm calling it on this one. It's time to do. Okay, help me figure this out. How do we know when to cut our losses? When to stop throwing good hours after bad and to just give up on something? I set a few pretty gentle 2024 resolutions. They were to read at least one book a month, to get my running distance up to 7Ks, to jump on a live stream here on YouTube once a month, and to draw a little illustration each week as part of a series. I thought these resolutions were super achievable, but as of now, only two remain. And that's fine. Resolutions can be aspirational, I guess. But I've been documenting the whole process behind making this series of illustrations, so I still wanted to share how far I made it and to have a little think about how we can frame giving up as something other than failure. Because if we always talk about giving up as failure, it might threaten our confidence and desire to take on new challenges in the future. And it might feel like we can't keep our promises to ourselves. The better way perhaps to frame giving up is that we're setting a boundary or being judicious with our time or just having a rest while we regather and regroup and then return renewed. So a little bit about this illustration series and why it kind of ground to a halt. Things started off really well as they so often do. I was being consistent, I was happy with the work and I was even documenting the process. But I think about maybe 25 weeks in, I started to fall behind and the concept of catching up just became totally overwhelming. So I kind of sidelined it. I had other things that needed to be prioritized too. And I ended up having a pretty long break from doing any personal work in my illustration. When I did come back to it, I was working in my sketchbook and sort of started developing a little bit of a different style, which was really filling me with joy and excitement to be drawing again. So when I looked at this series, I sort of felt this real obligation and a lack of interest, I guess. I also could really see how this series of drawings would work great with my new style. So I was sort of wavering between whether I should continue the series as it was and complete it as this holistic entity that was complete the way that it was intended to be, or if I should sort of follow this whim, as it were, and work on continuing the series, but using a different style. And in the end, I got such bad decision paralysis that I did neither. Nothing got done and the project was abandoned. Which is really sad now, I feel like, looking at the work all together and putting together this video and watching the process and remembering that I did really love some of these artworks, even though I still feel that they would be better represented in the sort of different style that I've been working in lately. Which I guess brings me to my next point. Why am I looking at this as something that has to be all or nothing? And I wonder if this is something that you do too. I've put in these weird arbitrary structures into how this resolution or this project was going to work and it had to be done one drawing a week for a year. There were going to be 52 drawings. I was going to allow them to arrive as they were. There was no pre-planning or forward planning of what the drawings would be. And all of these rules were just kind of made up and then strictly adhered to. So much so that it ended up breaking the project. I don't know why I think this way sometimes where if something goes wrong or something is imperfect, 
the whole thing is over. It's finished. We're giving up, we're quitting, we're leaving. Because it occurs to me that I can start again whenever I feel like it. I can pick this back up. It doesn't matter if it runs into May of next year, if those 52 weeks weren't exactly consecutive. Which brings to mind that kind of saying that I've seen doing the rounds of the internet, which is, when you feel tired, don't quit, rest. And that might be what I need to do. So perhaps rather than quitting, it's just a little rest. And even if I come back and the series has changed, I'm going to work in a different style or change direction somehow. I think it's still really important to acknowledge at whatever point you have to let something go or step out and quit, you've probably made some pretty damn good progress. Even if you don't hit all the arbitrary goals and markers that we sometimes set for ourselves. Anyway, I hope you guys enjoy seeing a little bit of the process behind these drawings. I don't know where they're going to end up or what the life of this project is going to be. But at the end of this video, I'll do a little run through of some scans of all the drawings so you can see them all as far as they made it.